There are many language learning apps available to learners on the internet. Here, I am going to focus on vocabulary learning apps that allow students and teachers to upload their own vocabulary lists. One popular app in this category is Memrise. Memrise is a web-based vocabulary learning app that has a very intuitive and fun interface. In Memrise, Students and teachers can create their own vocabulary lists and share them with others. Vocabulary is learned through various auto-generated exercises. Memrise is gamified, meaning that it looks like a game at times, which makes the vocabulary learning process more enjoyable for most learners. Food. A meal. Food. Food. While it is possible to pay a monthly subscription to access all features, I would suggest just using the free version as it is complete enough. Another good app is Anki, a virtual flashcard tool that does not require an internet connection to work once downloaded on a computer. Anki is completely free and was created by learners for learners. Flashcards can be either created directly within the app or automatically generated by importing the content from a text file or spreadsheet. Anki is not gamified and only offers virtual flashcards, but no other kinds of exercises. The interface can be a little challenging to navigate at first because there are many buttons, but once learners get familiar with the app, they will have the power to personalize their learning. Both Memrise and Anki allow students to add audio and images to vocabulary items. Both apps are also smart in the sense that they present vocabulary to review based on spaced repetition algorithms. If you prefer a gamified interface and have access to a reliable internet connection, go for Memrise. Otherwise, Enki might be just what students need. Another example of vocabulary tools that are available to everybody is spell checking. Most word processing programs, including those on the internet that have an editor, have spell checking in the background. The spell checking options allow students to see words that they have misspelled, and if we bring attention to those words, they can learn to use that feedback to improve their spelling thereby learning an aspect of vocabulary. In this example, we see how certain words were misspelled and students who attended to the markup on those words could then do the corrections to get the markup to disappear. When the words are spelled correctly, they are no longer underlined in red. As a non-native speaker of English, I find that I tend to overuse certain words while writing. One example of this is the word very. To learn new words that I can use instead of very, I regularly use an online thesaurus, which can be found at thesaurus.com. If I type the word very in the search bar, I first get a long list of synonyms to pick from. If I am not sure which one will fit in my context, I can click on compare synonyms I pick three synonyms that I think might work in my sentence, and the website then gives me a definition for each as well as their own synonyms to help me grasp their nuances. If this is not enough to help me choose one, I could visit their individual pages on thesaurus.com and see examples of sentences in which they are used.